close out the C1A Trader, I want to get the 1 to 7 money done. I want to show a, a quick reference uh, before I get to this. Since this is going to be kind of a short video, I thought I'd share this with you. Maybe you'll find it interesting. But um, back in 98, when I started this whole enterprise project, um, again, pre-internet or infancy of the internet, uh, back when you actually wrote people letters, <laughs> I wrote to the uh, Naval Institute and asked if they had any photos of the planes that I was going to be building, uh, as well as, uh, you know, the ship, the Enterprise. And what they do is, you know, then they reply back to you and they, you know, said, hey, here's photocopies of what we have. And then you go through the photocopies and, uh, you know, I, I kind of checked off which ones I wanted. Um, and then, you know, here's the invoice. And, and so then they send them to you. Um, so here's a couple of them. I couldn't find all of them, but I use this one for the E2 uh, a lot. Um, and it, it's kind of cool. They write on the back, you know, what they are. Uh, and then here was the A4 Skyhawks. And so uh, then they also sent um, these of the Enterprise. So this is actually the Enterprise from 1968, uh, along with the O'Banion and the Nicholas. Um, so that's the actual ship in it. I'll show a close up of it uh, in, in a moment. Um, and then this one's actually from 1967, because in 67, there was only a few squadrons that were different. You can see the uh, intruders were different and one squadron of the F-4 Phantoms, uh, but v uh, VF-92 was on, uh, the, the Vigilantes were the same, um, both squadrons of the A-4s were the same, 113 and, and 56, and um, this year, lo and behold, if you look, let me see, I get it close, I'll zoom in, that's 031. Uh, and you can tell by the uh, gray tail, and you can tell that the stripes on that uh, flag on the tail, the stripes are, are leading forward. Um, and there she is uh, with the wings folded sitting on the deck. 68, um, you can see all the squadrons here. Uh, but that is a uh, C2 Greyhound. Um, and I had read that they would bring dignitaries and, and transport to the uh, ship as well. I scoured the, the deck and could not find uh, a, a C1A trader. Um, but I just thought that was interesting that uh, uh, there she is sitting on the deck. And then you can see those back in there um, also came uh, from the Naval Institute in that set that I uh, picked. Um, so, you know, while I'm here and have this photo, actually, uh, because this is 68 and, you know, I've, I've looked at this quite a bit, it actually has um, every squadron is represented on there with at least two or three planes, obviously, except for the uh, transport. Um, so I'm probably going to when I get around to doing this, set that deck up to look like that. And then except for that C2, uh, I'm actually going to put the trader there. Um, you know, the one to 720 or one to 700 that I'm doing now will replace that C2, but that's what I'm thinking for the deck. Little preview of things to come. Who knows how far down the road. I want to recreate kind of what you just saw, obviously, with the wings folded. So these are the trackers, actually, 1-700 to S2F1 trackers from the USS Princeton kit. Uh, so similarly, I'm going to, you know, obviously convert the ones with the, the one with the folded wings to a C1A trader. Uh, I have to take that apparatus off of there. Um, it also has a, a super large hump right here. Uh, I'm gonna take that down. So there's this little uh, sonar buoy bump on the bottom. I'll uh, sand that off. And that's pretty much as far as I'm gonna go with, uh, you know, customizing them, so to speak. So I have insignia white and the flat gold gray uh, shoot, you know, each side. I'm just going to go with the Starfighter uh, decals. As per usual, I'm using a stripe decal. I've got uh, red, black, gray, uh, some bigger black here, 
Uh, so the red, I'm going to do the uh, line, that warning line there. This black, I'm going to do the inner sides of the engine nasals. Uh, this black stripe, um, the uh, fronts of the wings. Um, this gray, I'm going to try to do the walkways in this gray. We'll see how it comes out. Otherwise, I may go with an even thinner black for the walkways. And then I cut up sections of that thicker black stripe down into rectangles and trapezoids to make them into the uh, front windshield and side windows on the cockpit. Then I put on the Starfighter decals on the sides and tails. And then cut some more of that black stripe decal down into smaller squares along the sides of the fuselage to mimic those windows. So that's how she came out. I used black sharpie on the tires as well as the top of the nose there. Gave it a touch of the black chalk outline. Then glued on the wings and went around and touched up the white. Uh, glued on the propellers and then came back and gave it a shot of dull coat to finish it off. So to close out this series on the C-1A Trader, uh, there she sits on the deck of the USS Enterprise. And that actually concludes the airplanes for the USS Enterprise project, um, which leaves me only the helicopter, for which I have the clear prop uh, UH-2C. And then once that's done, um, just the ship will remain. And here's the stuff I've been saving up for the ship. We've got uh, deck vehicles, a bunch of deck vehicles uh, that I pinched from that uh, Indianapolis kit. And also, um, I think, from the Princeton kit. I have a Tom's. Uh, here's the blast shields um, that go on the deck there. And then I have a uh, crew. Uh, this Tom's Miles works you know, teeny tiny little guys there. So that'll be down the road. But uh, for now, um, that concludes all the airplanes. And again, uh, concludes the C-1A Trader series in my USS Enterprise project series. So as always, thanks for watching and happy modeling.